Welcome to Koi's Corner, a channel for personal and spiritual growth. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment letting me know why. Greetings, my name is Vishuddha, or Koi, and today we're talking about something I don't really talk about on this channel, if you haven't noticed, and that is Western religion. To be specific, we are going to be speaking briefly on why I left Christianity. Now, before I discovered Buddhism, before I discovered Hinduism and Vedanta, and all these deeper, older, more ancient esoteric practices, they're not even esoteric really, uh, very accessible practices. I, I was raised and grew up for the better part of my youth as, as a Christian, going to church every single Sunday, reading the Bible, things like that. You might see that I don't teach much about Western religions. People ask me to do videos on Islam, do videos on Christianity and Catholicism, and I don't because I don't agree with most of the aspects of Abrahamic religion uh, at all, and that's why I don't want to teach about them or talk about them. Um, this is just my channel and I share what I care about, and I don't have much uh, need, I think, to speak about them, besides in a sense like this. So if any of you have read my first book, which is called The Not So Enlightened Youth, you can find it up here. I speak about leaving Christianity at a young age, about 13 or 14, maybe a little later, maybe a little earlier, I forget. But in essence, I grew up Christian. My whole family pretty much is Christian. I'm one of the only ones, if not the only one in my extended family. That means my grandparents on both sides, my parents, uh, my siblings, to be a, a non-Christian, one that has left the faith, so to speak. I'm the only one. And that's, that's normal for a lot of families. For a lot of families, they are very religious. They are raised religious. It's a cultural phenomenon. We stick with the religion of our elders. They teach it to us. We take it as truth and we follow forward with it. And that's what I did for the first couple of years of my life um, until you start thinking critically. Until about the time I was 13 or 14. And the big problems I had with Christianity and the reason I left it at all and started seeking elsewhere, I guess in science to where I went after Christianity and became quite um, atheistic for a time, is that in, in Abrahamic faith, in a lot of ways, and I didn't know this on an intellectual level um, at the age of 13 or 14, but it's, it's very anti-question. You might think you can ask questions, but in reality, it's very anti-questioning the system, questioning the faith. Vedanta, Buddhism, they want you to question what they're teaching. Siddhartha Gautama himself said, don't believe what I'm saying just because I'm saying it. But Abrahamic religion is pretty much the exact opposite. It's saying, look, this book says something, you better believe it or you're going to hell in a lot of senses. And that to me just never really made sense. I've always been a, a, a kind of a rebel in the mind. I got in trouble a lot at school because I wouldn't shut up, I had questions. I, I would follow rules, but I wanted to understand why things were happening, why I was being told to do certain things, what they wanted from me. And the problem with Christianity and these faiths and that I had at a young age is that I would try to ask my pastor these questions. I would try to understand why, you know, why does God create suffering? Why are all these things happening, right? Why do I need to follow these specific commandments? Who, who becomes this authority? What are these answers? And the major questions or the major responses I would get to this would be to just have faith, right? Don't worry about questions. Just have faith in the teachings. Have faith in the books. Have faith in the Word of God. And take this book as the Word of God. Don't question that either. And that just never really felt right to me to just have faith blindly. Even Vedanta says faith is important, but faith should be rooted in empirical understanding, right? Experience, knowledge, knowingness of what you practice. It shouldn't just be blind faith. And a lot of Abrahamic religions are based on blind faith. They are based on the text alone, the commandments alone, that since they exist, we should follow them with no other question in mind. And I think because I wasn't ready to understand the depth of it, I kind of saw and felt like I was trying to be controlled. Now, if we don't become conscious of this, many of us stay with these regressive, in my opinion, religions, and, and they control us. They grip us. They really shelter us from reality and, and make us over, overcame with fear. They, they, they cover us in fear in a way. And I get this a lot from people on my channel saying, you know, I'm scared to even question this religion because I've been so indoctrinated with the fact that if I do question it, I'm going to hell. And that's one of the things that I just couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't sit with that. You know, how can people be in this space of love and care and commitment uh, when, when it has to do with just it, right? If I, if I want to be something else or search in a certain other place or practice another, another faith or, or ask questions, then I'm doing the wrong thing, right? Why is it wrong for me to ask these questions? It's never wrong to ask questions. And this just didn't ever sit right with me. And 
At this point, I was kind of losing faith a little bit, not really knowing where to go. But then what really struck the chord of me, what really made me leave the Christian faith more than anything else, at a young age, they had a best, I do have a best friend, still my best friend. Uh, his name is Carlos. And <clears throat> he showed me a video when I was very young um, by George Carlin called Religion is Bullshit. Now, I will say institutionalized religion, yes, I think it is in a lot of ways, but I also think that the ancient practices devised by certain religions, more so the Eastern religions, Vedanta, Buddhism, so forth, um, Taoism, those ones aren't, aren't so much bullshit <laughs> at all. But I think he meant more the Abrahamic faiths are BS. And if you watch this video, it's about an eight minute video, I highly suggest you just type in Religion is BS, George Carlin, above. Um, or you click the link right here, I'll have it pop down. He basically talks about all the major plot holes in these faiths, whether it be Islam, Christianity, or Catholicism, right? If God loves us unendingly, why is there judgments in any form? Shouldn't omnipotence see through our own ignorance due to our programming, due to our cultural advantages, due to being raised in a different faith and never even hearing about Christianity, right? Why should a tribesman in Africa go to hell because he never got to discover what Christianity was? In the same sense, why would something so loving, so omnipotent send us to such an evil place? Why would it even exist? Whereas in Eastern religions, such a place is nonsensical, right? The only hell that there exists is in the mind. And heaven is everything, if we can allow ourselves to perceive it as such. All these questions, you know, believing in something that does not exist, that we can't empirically experience or come to know, they, they just show how much of Christian faith and how much of Catholicism, on a fundamental level, even if we aren't aware of it, are just tools to controlling our conscious mind and our perspective of the world in a lot of ways. And, and they do so through fear mongering, through repetition, through beating it into the brains of the youth that you must follow this, you must believe this, or you will be damned. You will be served damnation. And that is something major to fear and it screws with a lot of people's heads and it messes people up. And it was starting to mess me up and it scared me. And that was one of the biggest things. I watched this video, it was eight minutes long, and just the logic and poise and truth and genuine nature of George Carlin, I love George Carlin, uh, in this video really opened my eyes to maybe what I'm thinking about is wrong, maybe what I'm learning about is wrong. Um, and then I started to Google it, started to do my own research. Uh, as I got a little older and I started to see, you're right, there are thousands, thousands, literally, of contradictions in even this holy book, even the Bible. Contradictions are everywhere. Well, why would the word of the divine be contradictory? I mean, in, in, all their ancient, in other ancient scripts, such as the Vedas and such, there aren't really any contradictions. It's just talking about the way of nature, not the way of an acclaimed deity in, in a dualistic perspective is creating and controlling. It's much more inclusive of the whole. And so all these things combine about the Christian faith, all these faults, all these controlling mechanisms, all these areas of fear mongering and, and, and dumbing us down and asking us to just believe and not to ask really just pushed me away. And I, I don't remember what the exact age was, but I, I started to just refuse to go to church and really to do a lot more research. And I fell into science, which eventually led into atheism, which I'm glad I've also gotten out of. Um, if you guys are interested in me doing a video on my experiences you know, they, with atheism or being atheistic, comment those below. But yeah, I, I, just, I just got out of that and I'm glad I did because it opened my mind up to a way that I could actually start thinking, wow, what if there are other things out there? What if there's other potentials to this reality and I don't have to feel guilty about thinking about it or even following or practicing it? Losing that fear is the most liberating feeling ever and, and Western religions really instill a lot of fear into us. Uh, with the idea that if we don't follow it, we will be sent to hell. With the, again, the idea of the realms of heaven and hell. Um, it's always a controversial thing, but I am very, very glad I got out of that system of thinking and out of that church. Uh, <laughs> that's just my story with how I left Christianity at a young age. So if you have any questions about it, please make sure to like, subscribe, and leave those down below. I'll do my best to answer them. And as always, I'll see you guys next time. Rob Rob.